Onward we march, onward we march with all our might. Hodamul Ahmadiyya. Onward we march with one love, with all our might to defend Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. We are Tiyah Ahmadiyya Secondary School Kumasi, where the National Ijtima of Majlis Hodamul Ahmadiyya Ghana will be held. As you can see behind me, people are arriving, the environment is bustling with excitement. Join us on these four days as we bring you coverage of every activity that would occur in this year's Ijtima. Join us. The Ijtima took place from the 26th of September to the 28th of September 2024. With the theme reflecting on 100 years of Ahmadiyyat in Ghana, this three-day event featured a wide array of sporting and academic competitions. The academic competitions included Quran recitation, Quran memorization, message delivery, quiz and extempo speeches among other activities. Hello, Brigado viewers. As we promised, we are bringing you coverage of the activities. As yesterday and this morning, the academic competitions were going on quite extensively, and uh, we saw the Khuddam and Atfal participate in it. With us today to have just a short conversation is one of the judges who judge the competitions, Mohammed Rayan Saab, a student of Jamia Hude International. Rayan Saab. Rayan Saab, this is your first time being in an Ijtima in Ghana. Can you tell me how you felt before I go on to how the competitions went? Tell me how you felt. So, by the grace of Allah the Almighty, it was my first time to attend the National Ijtima of Majlis Khudam al Ahmadiyya of Ghana. And uh, I've seen that the preparations is going very well, and the environment here is very nice, and the people here also is very nice. So, for, so far, for me, it has been a very uh, enjoyable moment for me. I can see, I can, from the way you are smiling, I understand that you had a very pleasant experience. But uh, can you tell me how the competitions were, like the academic competitions, when that Fallen Khuddam were coming to participate in it? So, yes, yesterday, the, the, Alhamdulillah, there were a lot of Atfal competitions. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I also got the opportunity to be the judge of one of those competitions where the Atfal came and they were reciting some short prayers and uh, they were based upon their fluency, upon their body positions and their translation. And what I can observe from those competitions is that the Majlis Atfal Ahmadiyya and the Majlis Khudam al Ahmadiyya has done a great job because those Atfal were very well disciplined and they were very much prepared. And where they were, whenever they were coming, I saw that, yes, those Atfal were very prepared. And I hope and believe that this will continue to do, or continue to be as soon. Inshallah, we pray that I continue this episode. Warm up. Thank you very much for joining us today. As long as you look at you. On the sporting front, participants engage in football, volleyball, badminton, tag of peace, table tennis, among other exciting sports. With all our might, Hodamul Ahmadiyya, onward we march. Viewers, we are here now. The volleyball final match has happened, which was between Jamia International and Greater Accra Region. We are here with the winning team and their captain. He is the man of the match. We want him to share with us his you know, experiences and how the game was like. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Please, what's your name? I'm Sam Rafik. Sam Rafik, how was the game like? Uh, I would say the game was very interesting. Uh, actually, we knew they were very, very good. Uh, yesterday, we saw them watching our match against Upper West. So we knew they were coming all out against us. So we also prepared as a team to meet them. So actually, I saw the game to be very, very competitive, especially when we spike and we also spike. And the blocks, <laughs> they really stressed out with the blocks. So I think overall, it was really a good game. They didn't give up easily. Mashallah, that's interesting. How would you say this game has, you know, increased the sense of brotherhood amongst the, uh, the, 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 the Khuddam? <laughs> well, uh, I can say it has had a great impact, uh, especially looking at the crowd uh, that were around to watch. Especially the soccer audience, they all turned around and they were looking at the volleyball match. And I think it has really caught the attention of the campus as well as the players, because all the various region players who play for the region, uh, various regions were all around. So they, were, they all wanted to see how the match would go, and I believe they all saw the match to be interesting. So I also liked it very, very well. Mashallah, mashallah. Sorry. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. We are really grateful. Viewers, this is what is happening here at the Ijtima, as we told you earlier. So this is the kind of brotherhood that exists here. Thank you for joining us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We shall protest. Members of the Majlis engaged in a route march, marching through the principal streets of Kumasi to create awareness of the Jamaat and also serve tablet purposes through the peace walk.
Each day commenced with the Tahajjud prayer, followed by a lightning durus delivered by the Jamaat missionaries. This year, a new segment was added to the conference, making it more enlightening for the participants, and this was the Khudam panel discussions. The Atfal rally was also held on Thursday morning with members of the Atfalul Ahmadiyya fully participating. Blood donation exercise was ongoing throughout the conference as well. The Amir and Missionary in charge, Ghana Al Had Movi Nur Muhammad bin Salih Saib, graced the occasion for the closing ceremony. The closing ceremony started with a recitation from the Holy Quran. An address was given by the Sadir Majis Khudamul Ahmadiyya annual report given by the National Secretary and prizes shared amongst the victors of various sporting and academic competitions. The Amir and missionary in charge then gave his closing address. The other person in the other political party is not your enemy. It's a matter of expression of ideas and convictions here and there. And it's a matter of casting a vote. Whoever wins the majority votes becomes the president. Whoever wins the majority of parliamentary votes becomes the member of parliament. What is the fight in this? You have two major political parties and you have two major presidential aspirants. Each one of them is a very good material. Each one of those aspirants can do Ghana good. They are selling themselves to us. It is for each one to consult his own conscience. Listen to what they are saying. Turn it over and over and over. And think of your future, whether what they are saying it what suits you that will give you good growth tomorrow. Good presentations are not in your interest. And that will inform you to vote and elect one of them. It's not too far when the Odam of Africa would have converged at a particular ichtima. And that ichtima will be the ichtima that will shape the world. It will be the ichtima that will draw the attention of the world for the first time. That the revolution is in a making. And that revolution is that revolution of Ahmadiyyad under Hilafat. Alhamdulillah, over 4,000 members of the Majlis Khudamul Ahmadiyya attended this conference. Reporting from Wahabadam Studios, Ghana. Emberinasso, 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 Em